Hello, this is Alana Tucky, Mathematics Instructor at Jackson Community College. This is going to be the first of several tutorials on how to work with the TI-83 or 84 calculator. The instructions I'm going to give are going to be for TI-84, obviously, since it says so at the top of the screen, but they'll work the same way for a TI-83. Now this tutorial is going to focus on just some of the basic operations and functions working with a calculator. So the first thing let's learn how to do is how to do simple things like adding and subtracting. So let's do 59, take away 65, enter. Now you can see this is subtraction. I did that with this button over here, subtraction. That's not the same thing as this guy over here. This is the negative symbol because of course 59 take away 65 is a negative number. That button is actually this button down here at the bottom. So be careful, they're not the same thing. For example, if I type 59, negative 65, and press enter, the calculator says error syntax. Syntax error means you've typed something wrong. It doesn't understand what you're trying to do. So if it gives you the option, like it does here, of go to, then click that. You can do that by either pressing the number 2 or going down to it with your down arrow and pressing enter. And it's, see, the cursor is blinking on where the error is say, oh, I didn't mean a negative symbol there, I meant subtraction. Enter. Great. All right, now that we know how to do that, what about getting to do squaring for us? How about I want to do 6 to the 2 power? Then I can hit this guy over here, the x squared button, and that'll square that number. And then you press Enter, and there's 36. Now, if you want negative 6 squared and it's in parentheses, you can type parentheses, negative 6, close parentheses, and you can hit squared, enter, and that's 36 as well. Now, be careful. That's not the same thing as negative 6 squared. It matters in a calculator. Let me press enter real quick. See, that one's negative. The top one's positive because a negative 6 times a negative 6 turns into positive 36. The negative's inside the parentheses, so it's getting squared. Down here, only the 6 is getting squared because there's no parentheses. It makes a significant difference to the calculator. Calculators will do exactly what you tell them to. So be careful with your problems. Now the other way to square or cube or do any other power is with the caret button right here above the division symbol. So you can say 6 caret 2, enter. There you go, that's 36. Now let's suppose I say, oh, I want to retype that. I want something different. What you can do is look above your enter key. It says entry. You press second, enter. It'll take the last thing that you typed. And you go second, enter again. It'll take the one above that. And you can do second, Oops, second, enter again, and it'll take the one above that. And you can say, oh, I meant to type an 8 in here. So you can go over here with your left arrow and type an 8. Enter. And there you go. It's 64. So you can get back up and see some of these entries. It keeps a memory of about 10 things. And then it'll cycle through them. Oops, I pressed enter again. Now the next thing you could do is you could say, look, I want to take that answer I got and I want to divide it. Well, Answer is right here above the negative key. So you can hit second ANS, and let's say I want to divide it by 10 for the sake of it. Enter. There you go, and it gives me the answer. So it's taking the last answer I had, 64, and dividing it by 10. Now entry cycles through the last few. Answer, unfortunately, only takes the last answer you've got. You can't go back up and get the 36. You can't go back up and get the 64. If I were to hit ANS right now, it would only know the 6.4. That's it. Now how else can you do powers? What about all the powers like third powers and fourth powers? How do you do those? Well, you can do 6 caret 3. That'll be 6 to the third power, for example. Now another nice one to know is the square root right here. You hit second, square root, 64, close your parentheses, enter, and there you go. You write square roots like you would write them down on paper. The square root part comes first, then the number, and then you close the parentheses. That's the end of this tutorial. Next time we'll go through how to graph things.